In this video, I'm going to show you how to make A4 Mackerton posters using InPrint 3. Uh, thanks go to Claire G, uh, work colleague, for um, the inspiration for this idea. And Claire makes really good use of such A4 posters. Having them up on display in the classroom means they're not only there for the children to remind them of the different signs, but also for the adults in the room. You've got a wonderful quick reference to have a look remind you of the Mackerton signs. And uh, Claire uses the, the posters to uh, show the children the different signs for different keywords. So I'm using InPrint 3 and the first thing I need to do is check the Mackerton symbols are installed on this particular machine. So I'm just going to go to Symbols, click in the tab at the top. If I choose Symbol Settings, I can see that on Topic Word Lists, Got widget pictures, which are the default. But if I go to symbol set word lists, we've got all signs. So the Mackerton symbols are installed in here on this machine. If um, it could possibly be that they're available here but not in use, in which case we need to just click the enable word list and then save. Or if you're if the Mackerton symbols haven't been installed at all on your machine, you need to come and catch us and we'll get them installed for you. Now I'm going to make a full page. Mackerton symbol. So in Communicate in Print, I'm going to click the Edit tab and then I'm going to click for a new frame. I'm just going to click on Style Frame. It doesn't have to be style, but I'm going to make it really large so it fills the whole page. Oops, made it a little bit too big now, so I'm just going to resize it slightly. Let's move that up there. Great. Now my keyword is Materials. You can see I've, I've got the, um, the content, I've got the picture in there, and it's chosen the correct symbol for me. If I didn't want that symbol, I'd choose one of the other ones. But I'm making Mackerton sign posters, so it's got the right one. Now if I choose frame at the top here, what I really want to happen is that the content fills the frame. So now it's made it as big as it possibly can be. So I've got my first page. And if I click Page Manager up here, maybe I want to make um, a selection more. Now just to, to make things a little easier, I'm just going to duplicate. And I'm going to make, let's say, five copies of the current page. So in Page Manager down at the bottom, we've got five pages all called Materials. I'm just going to change the word. Now I've still got my frame in there, so I've used it like a template. I'm going to put rubber. So you can see I've got the Mackerton symbol appearing there. And this one I'm going to change that one to soft. Again, I've got the Mackerton symbol appearing, which is just the one I want. I'd also like strong. Perfect. Let's just change a couple more symbols. Let's call this one weak. Now this is the first example I've come to that there isn't actually a Mackerton sign for this. And because I'm making Mackerton signs at the moment, I'm just going to choose a different symbol. So let's go for rough and let's choose smooth. Okay, so there we go. In just a couple of minutes, I've made myself A4 size pictures ready to go up on display. Now, if I want to, I can click File Print. Um, if I choose the print option down here, a couple of things worth mentioning. I can just print these out now. However, if I print them as a PDF, I've got Microsoft Print to PDF. It's making a document for me, PDF document. And with this, I can actually share it on something like Seesaw, or I can email it to parents or to other members of staff in a format that's easily accessible. I'm just going to save this on the desktop uh, for now. No, I'm not going to save it there. Anyway, PDF file is how you can do it. The latest version of Imprint 3, you can actually save as PDF, but not the version I'm using. So there we go. That's um, A4 Mackerton uh, symbol posters to make your teaching life a lot easier if you're working with children and that you wish to use Mackerton symbols.